servo motion system can achieve its maximum performance when the rotor position is accurately known. In case of a motion system where the position feedback is an incremental encoder, the rotor position is yet unknown when the system is powered. This issue is overcome by forcing the rotor to move in a known position, usually motor A phase. Though simple, the solution can cause large movements and can fail when the motor is positioned against the mechanical limit. The limitations of this starting method are more obvious in linear systems where the space is limited and therefore the alignment can cause the motor to hit a mechanical limit. If this happens, the performance of the motion system is not optimal. Technosoft has developed a new solution to determine the rotor position after power 1. The new starting method allows Technosoft drives to determine the position of the rotor with minimal movement. The robustness of our solution will produce a correct start of the motor even when it is in a mechanical limit. The new starting method is available as a standard feature on Technosoft iPost drives. Using the first starting method, the motor moves to the position which corresponds to motor A phase, marked with a green label. Once the motor is aligned with the A phase, the drive will execute the actual motion profile, a back and forth movement. With the new solution developed by Tenosoft, the drive determines the starting position with minimal movement. The back and forth cycle begins from where the motor was when the system was powered. The motor starts correctly even when it is placed against the mechanical limit. If you want more details, you can call us or write to us and we'll be glad to answer all your questions.